Hey gang, JP, your ambassador for Australia and New Zealand here. Welcome to this session, which is push pull. I'm going to catch you out. I'm going to start with pull, provided you're warmed up and you're ready and you're taking this steadily and gently at the start. I'm actually going to get a bit of a workout myself. On I go. I love 35 below. It works for my body. You're welcome to join at your level yourself. So these straps that appear on the plates here, I love to do a crossover and do something I call a posture pull. So I get into this position and I want to pull back and down with my shoulders, yes, but actually what I'm really trying to do is pull outwards with my shoulders. So put as much space between my shoulders as possible for a count of three and then I'll relax. As much space between my shoulders as possible and then I'll relax. You can see I'm trying to go a little bit side on. I've got a slight bend in the knees a nice and tall spine and I'm putting as much space between my shoulders as possible. So that whole retract and depress scapulas, that now is being moved on into in favour of as much space between your shoulders as possible. If you want to bring it more into bent over row styling, you can do that still, same movement, as much pull as you're comfortable to go. You can go anything from a 10% pull to a 90% pull. It's entirely up to you how strong you're feeling at the time. Then, we can further three-dimensionalize by saying, okay then, left foot forward, right foot back. One, two, three. Right foot forward, left foot back. One, two, three. Left and right feet into sumo positions. One, two, three. Pigeon toe, each time you do this. One, two, three. The force travels through your body differently. Now what else can we do with this? Well, we can go unilateral, actually it gets more difficult. So we can play with those foot positions, still cross body. I don't mind what you do with this arm. You can hold it out here if you wish, put it on your side of your leg, you can put it behind you if you wish. So we can go one, two, three. The force travels very differently through your body. One, two, three and you can do some either side. One, two, three. I'm gonna just carry on and do my three the other side because I might as well get some benefit here too. Hey, I'm sure you won't deny me that. As always, we are actually integrating the body neuromyofascially. So we're getting the nervous system, the muscles, and the connective tissue all firing together. Now, what else can you do, JP? Mr. Big Shot, think you know what you're talking about. Well, <laughs> what else we can do, because I love having fun with this stuff, three-dimensionality rules, as far as I'm concerned, because it's how our tissues are arranged in the body. So now we can go push, pull here. We can go pull here and pull, push here. So in other words, I pull with my left hand, tall spine. My uh, hips do not stay fixed though, okay? So here I am. Tension is here. I pull, rotate at the hips, push, return, relax. Pull, pull, turn and push, and relax. Pull, pull, push, and relax. Let's go to the other side. This one really is awesome. Transverse plane work. Okay, here we are. Pull, remember pull means as much distance between your shoulders as possible. Pull, push, return, relax. Pull, pull, turn, push, relax. Pull, pull, turn, relax. So there's just a few ideas for playing with the, inf with the um, tools that you actually have attached to most of these machines. That's a really great way of doing that. Now, of course, when it comes to push, there is nothing better than playing with your push-up. I'm hoping to show you different ways of doing that and giving you the why along the way. So, we can do a push-up from the knees or from the toes if people are happy to be on their hands. And that's fine, that's really, really good. And it is an integrated exercise. But through three-dimensionalizing that, what I suggest you start doing with is playing with footprint and hand pin. So, take your foot to a different place each time you are performing the push-up. 
that way, again, we are playing with where the tissues run in the body. You can also take one foot off, for example. So you might just be driving that straight back. Pilates styling. You might be taking it out and scorpion styling for animal flow. Then we can go, all right then, well let's just put our feet in our favorite place and then play with a hand print. Left foot hand, left hand foot, left hand forward, <laughs> right hand forward. Left hand turned inwards, left hand turned outwards. Right turn, right hand, hand left hand turned outwards. And so it continues. Every single force profile is different. Your tissues are arranged in what they call fractal chaos. We want to get as much hydration and lymph and blood flow through those as possible, whilst also making them robust and resilient tissues. So that any movements that we want to perform in life or in sport, so that we can perform and not break, is enhanced by three-dimensionality, by three-dimensionalizing. Now, unless you cannot perform it, because not all movements aren't for all bodies, or you're recovering from an injury, of course, and you have to do linear work, these are the kind of things you can gradually work your way towards. That level of intensity might not be good enough, uh, sorry, might be too much for some. It might not be enough for others. You know how to add intensity, I hope. If you need any help with that, you can reach out. Please hit like, please comment on these videos. I love to know that you're there. I love to share this stuff with you. And if you have any questions, queries, please share them with me and with us. And I will see you next week for three-dimensionalizing your core with your beloved power plate. Good to see you everyone. JP signing out.